one group of voters that really helped to push Donald Trump to the White House, evangelicals. Donald Trump won white evangelicals by a record 81%. Donald Trump can credit his victory as president of the United States in part by their overwhelming turnout. In a landslide margin, white evangelicals went for Trump 81% to 16%. That's besting both George W. Bush's and Mitt Romney's numbers. Well, we're doing very well with the evangelicals, and if they vote, we're going to win the election. This was the part that confused me the most. I was raised in a Christian church. I was on the Bible quizzing team and the youth group council, and I taught at Vacation Bible School. And no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't imagine my Sunday school teacher or youth pastor casting their vote for someone who talks like this. Because we have nobody in Washington that sits back and said, you're not going to raise that fucking price. You understand? But according to the numbers, they did. There was that hidden evangelical vote, people not wanting to admit they were voting for Trump. A producer last night here at Fox said to me that her mother was in a Sunday school class, and she, the mother finally confessed to the class, I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> All the other women started laughing and said, we are too, but we're afraid to tell anybody. <laughs> but the bottom line is Christians had put Trump in office, evangelical Christians specifically. And they were some of the only ones who believed it could happen. The people who ran the polls sure didn't. Almost every major polling forecast favored Hillary Clinton to win. What went wrong with the numbers, the predictions, the polls? How did the polls lead us astray? In the days following, there was a concerted effort to figure out just what the hell had happened. And it was, in fact, what happened with James Comey is the reason But that's the millions of white working class people who voted for Obama turned their backs on the Democratic Party. Certainly the intelligence community can't gauge the impact it had on the choices the electorate made. They have eliminated so many polling places that it's created this kind of a disaster. The erosion of voting rights is the least discussed story of the 2016 election. American democracy is profoundly broken. I believe it was God. God showed up. He answered the prayers of hundreds of thousands of people across this land that have been praying for this country. God miraculously intervened, and he didn't do it for Donald Trump. He did it for our nation. And the second thing I've said, God gave America a second chance. Thank you, Lord, for the victory. Thank you for saving our nation. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Jezebel down. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! Thank you, thank you. It was really our own fault for being surprised at Trump's victory. Evangelical Christians, especially the ones on TV, had been prophesying about it for months. This revelation, as the world would soon discover, was a message to the most powerful nation on earth. The Spirit of God says, I have chosen this man, Donald Trump, for such a time as this. This next election will be a clean sweep for the man that I have chosen. He is God's John the Baptist. He is God's messenger. When he takes over in January, there is a 5777 countdown to the appearance of the Messiah, and something could happen overnight. And even though a prophecy is supposed to be a foregone conclusion, they still offered their public endorsements. And that's why I've decided as a private individual to endorse Donald J. Trump for President of the United States. I believe he and, and their right prayers. Yes. Father, if you exalt this man to the highest office in this land, Father, we pray for wisdom that you would be glorified. If you're a Christian, pray with me that a hedge of protection be put up around Donald J. Trump and all of us that are fighting for truth and justice. I say pray for me. I pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray, Father that Thank Donald you, Trump will become so empowered by the Holy Ghost, yes. he'll be praying in the Thank Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As he faces... And they begged and threatened other evangelicals to vote for him. You're going to be held seriously, seriously to account by God if you don't vote. And you're going to find that out before this broadcast is over. You're going to be guilty of murder. 
you're going to be guilty of an abomination of God. You're going to be guilty for every baby that's aborted from this election forward. They did vote. And they won. And they rejoiced. Fox has declared Donald Trump is president! They had voted for someone who created a pretty unconvincing portrait of his Christian ethics. How did they justify it? Maybe they were convinced by demonstrations like this. I brought my Bible. Okay? You know, it's First Presbyterian Church, Jamaica, and this was written by my mother. So this was the year the American church supported a candidate whose character is anything but Christian, which also made it the year that the church lost so many members. 